Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So I am coming to you with an updated top knot video with Stassi today. And we have been so, so busy. We just moved into our new house and that is why I haven't come to you with any updated videos. Um, but I plan on doing more videos with you guys um, as the time goes along. But in the meantime, please follow us on Instagram at our new Instagram handle, which is Stassi the Zoo underscore and crew so I can do a lot more on Instagram on that platform because I don't have to edit the videos and I plan on doing stories and then just saving them to my highlights so make sure you check us out over there now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut away her top knot that is already here using a little suture removal scissors and what you do is you just put the scissor in underneath the rubber band and then carefully cut that away just like that and I already cut away the other sections before I started this video. The next thing that I'm going to use is my Chris Christensen comb. This is uh, about a 10 inch comb I think it is to comb that hair back on her head there and then you want to use your comb as a guide and um, go about the same level as where her pupils would be and that's the area that you're going to comb down on each side of the nose. Now the first section that you're going to do um, is this front section here and I'm going to be using the Chris Christensen 5 inch face comb. I'm going to start at the corner of her eyes, which is about right here, and then I'm going to take just about a quarter of an inch section deep. So you don't want to use a whole section that's too deep because we're going to do multiple sections. So I've just found that it works better this way, and that's how we're going to do it. All right, so I'm pulling up hair, like I said, from the corner of her eye, about one quarter of an inch deep, making sure I don't have her eyelashes in there, because she's got some long eyelashes, huh, Stassi? All right, so once you have that section, you're going to take a 5 16 rubber band, and these rubber bands are just orthodontic bands. And you're going to band that first section. I go around three times in the first section here. And then after that, you're going to take the back, just a little piece of the back section of that top knot. And then you're gonna, I'm right-handed, so I take that little piece with my right hand. With my left hand, I hold on to the rubber bands, and then I pull up on the back section while I am pushing down on the rubber bands, which makes a little poof there. Then you're gonna repeat exactly what you just did for the second section. making sure that you don't get any of the first section in with the second section. And then you don't want to make these sections too thick because it's better to have multiple sections than one big section. I just find it works better that way. All right, so we're going to band this second section. Go around three times. Okay, and then same thing, we're going to take the back section here, pull up, and push down with the left hand. So now we have two sections, so one section and two sections. Now, because Stassi's top knot is so long, what I have found is that if I do a third section going further back on the back of her head, it really holds the top knot better for flopping in her face because that's one of the main problems we have 
is the top knot will flop over into her face. So by putting this third section, it helps. So nothing helps completely with that, but this has helped a lot. So again, only about a quarter of an inch or so deep. This section goes all the way back to where her skull meets her neck. So it's pretty far back there. And then we're gonna band this section. Oops, these, these, and I just popped band. So those are pretty old. I've been having that same container of these orthodontic bands for five years, so they're kind of dry rot. <laughs> but I had bought in bulk when I bought them because I found them on eBay. It's the Armco orthodontic bands, but really any 5 16th orthodontic band should work. So now we have three sections. So one, two, and three, right? After you get your three sections, then the next thing that you're going to do is take a fourth orthodontic band. You're going to grab all three sections, and then we're going to band those sections together. And then usually I go around twice. Now you can see how this kind of holds it back on her head right there. Now, you want to make sure that her eyes don't have a whole lot of tension on them once you finish doing your top knot. So what I do for that is I take the Chris Christensen rat tail comb, it has the point, and then very carefully I go from the outer corner and I just loosen up that hair by her eyes. And then I take the middle section here, loosen that up, and I just go all the way to the other side. And it just relaxes their eyes so that their eyes don't have tension on them. Oh, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Mama. Did that hurt just a tiny bit? I'm sorry. And you, you know, you gotta be gentle. Well, we gentle, but sometimes, sometimes they're like little kids, like, I've heard, Mama. Okay, so you can see how this relaxed her top knot so that her eyes are not bulging. Let me see. Can Mama see? All right, so I'm going to do this top area here because that might be putting a little tension on the top knot. I'm at an angle too, so it's a little difficult for me to kind of make sure, but I think we got it pretty good. And you just do it gently. Okay, so that gives me a pretty good poof right there. You can see how this holds the top knot back. Now this obviously is not a, like, show breeder top knot at all but it's just works it works for us and we're just pet owners here and um, it works so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the bow in and I have found some really cute cute bows from this little Etsy shop let me put it right in front of your face for now um, and they have the alligator clips on them isn't this cute so this is by paw style shop on Etsy and I got some pink ones and I got some Christmas ones so we're gonna put this Christmas one in now it's a little peppermint bow it has a little alligator clip on the back and I was so surprised when I started using these how well they stay in the hair they stay in her hair like for a long time and all you do is kind of hides this area here as well because we have so much going on right here um, so what I do is I just take a small section and I just alligator, alligator clip it in. And look how adorable that is. And it's really secure. Like it's very, very secure. So I've been loving this look. I think she looks adorable. Doesn't she look adorable? Um, and that's it. That's like our latest top knot routine. 
And with these bows, it makes it so easy, like so completely easy. Um, I do still love the double banded regular bows. This was the bow that I took out of her hair, which is her little Thanksgiving bow. Um, and now she's ready for Christmas. But I've really been loving these alligator clips. Um, they just work really, well, really, really well. Um, the last thing that I normally do before um, she gets off of the table is I use the drying powder with a makeup brush. This is a container that I had before, but I use the Page One drying powder. And I just like to use this. Her eyes do water a little bit. I find that this kind of keeps this fur a little bit whiter, 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 whiter. <laughs> um, so I just put this on and I don't do this every day with her anymore. So when she was a puppy, I did do this routine all of the time with her. But now that she's older, I really don't have to do this routine um, as often at all. So that's really, really good as well. So that is it for this video. As you can see, we are in our new grooming area here at the new house. It is still, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see, it doesn't last. It lasts for a picture and that's about it. Um, anyway, I'm here at our new house in the new grooming area. I will be doing a grooming area tour. Um, it's not finished. As you can see, we have unfinished walls behind me here. And I will tell you all about my plans um, when I come back with the tour video. But make sure you follow us at Stassi the Zoo and Crew on Instagram because you will definitely be able to see um, lots more everyday videos of the dogs playing in our everyday life and as well as um, any updated bathing, um, blow drying, and you know, grooming videos, I can put them on my stories and save them to the highlights. And it's just a whole lot easier for me to keep up with that rather than um, uploading videos to here on YouTube. Now I will be doing that um, as well. I'm just saying that on the Instagram channel, I will be a lot more active than I am here on YouTube. So definitely follow us in both places. Um, because you will see we also have a surprise coming in January, but you'll have to t log in to the Instagram and follow us there to see what we have coming as a surprise. And well, it's not so much a surprise, but it's coming in January. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for following us and we will catch you on Instagram at Stassi the Zoo and crew and here on YouTube. Bye guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.